Oh, how excited are we? How excited are we? We've got an electric bike to review. An electric bike. Now, we've had this for months. Yes. We were in Spain at the time when this got sent. So I've just been waiting to get back from Spain and get this. So this is from Himiway. The step through cruiser. Well, that's not the best bit. It's the fat tyre. It's a fat tyre bike. A fat tyre, as first you ever fat tyre bike. One of these, have you? I have. The company got in touch, says, right, pick a bike, pick a bike. I says, I'll tell you what, I'd really like a fat tyre one because we've never reviewed a fat tyre bike before. And we've never reviewed a step through one before. Um, which makes it easier to, you can see what I mean there. For people like me. It's for people with little legs so they can get in it. You know, the bar doesn't come across there. Um, and a lot of our viewers, you know, are over 40, let's face it, and might have trouble getting the leg over. I know. <laughs> okay. I was going to say short legs, but okay. <laughs> um, I did watch a review of this, not the step through one, the normal cruiser one, from a really old man called Bob. Really old man. Get on you, Bob. He was called Bob. And he, oh, I know you He mean. really struggled to get his leg over. <laughs> you mean Bob Earnshaw? Bob Earnshaw, our <laughs> friend. I'm only, take, I'm only joking. He knows. Um, so we've got the step through version. His was a black one. This is white. Oh, so did Bob have the same as this? It's the same, but not the step through. Oh, okay, yeah. The one which isn't step through is black, but the no step way. through is white. So. Oh. The problem with today is it is very, very, very windy. Cold, windy, um, yeah. I <laughs> should have done this yesterday, it was a lot better weather. <sighs> so, Mazzy is going to go inside, I think, and I'm going to be on my own trying to build this thing. I'll film out the window. <laughs> yeah, just leave me to it, Mazzy. Let's uh, unbox this thing and see how we get on. So excited. Right, here goes. The hardest bit is going to be getting it unpacked without anything blowing away. I'm going to have to try and get my rubbish, throw it in the van and let Mazzy sort it out. Ooh. Look at this. Yeah, this is going to take me some time. I'm not very good with things like this, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Lots of cable ties. It's going to take me longer to unpack it <laughs> than it is to build it, I hope. <laughs> Look at that, Mazzy. Oh, wow. How beautiful is that? Look at the fat wheel. I think I'm best starting with that actually. That is the size. That's bigger than his motorhome wheel. <laughs> Don't even ask how we got this in the motorhome. <laughs> that is well smart. I can't get it out. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, you're really going to have to come back to me. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. See if it actually is bigger. It is bigger than. <laughs> in fact, if we got two bikes, we could change them and have four new tyres on as much. Yeah, time, has good it. idea. Better than the ones we've got. <laughs> <laughs> what a beauty! Mm. And this is all your tools in here, I believe. Which I'm hoping I've got every tool I need because I haven't got any. Oh Ooh. yes, I need this in this weather, Mazzy. Yeah, till it goes blurring everywhere. Brilliant. Yep, all the tools. Wow. New Allen key set, look at that. Real. Okay, let me unpack. Oh, we're, we're nearly there. Okay. Wow. It's starting to look a bit like a bike. Look at this. It's so smart. So let's have a first little look around it. We've got it unpacked. Incredible wheels. Massive box. 
nice seat nice handle at the back no idea how I'm gonna get this wheel on or handlebars do you think I'm gonna to have to look at instructions for this one Mazza Quality of this though, just the little trimmings, the I'm stitching. loving that, loving that yeah. on the handlebars. It is so good. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna have to concentrate, stop filming, and try and get it built. It's perfect size for me. Is this mine? I've decided I'm gonna do this bike as per the instructions. First thing first take these four screws out let's get the handlebars on handlebars in position and get them screws back in there this is the nuts there handlebars central all them are tightened we're nearly ready to go Still need a wheel at some point though. I think I've got this right. Next step, put the headlight on. Now it's got a little metal bit here, which I'm guessing goes in here. It's gonna go something like that. That's my guess. And there we have a headlight, Mazzy. Beautiful. Right, I'm gonna need your help, Mazzy. How do you need me? I don't know. <laughs> um, Help me, line that up for me, down here. Can you see where it goes? Right, couldn't film any of that bit because it was getting a bit complicated and I was getting it all wrong. Um, I will be testing this out properly. <laughs> Slightly worried the wheel's gonna come off. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned how that's going on really, but... I did it wrong. Totally wrong. I did it wrong. And you've injured yourself in the process. And I've injured myself. Um, it was easier than I expected, I think. I think it's on correctly now. Not sure exactly where this is meant to, if you know, if it were meant to go in a certain direction, but it seems okay there for now. Uh, that will be for the mud guard. But yeah, I was undoing this and the barbarians were coming loose, so I just hope it's okay. Yeah, but it was easier than you thought really was it? Yeah, I was making it more complicated yeah. than it was. <laughs> so anyway, we're near, we're getting a bike now, we're getting there. Can't go anywhere Mazzy without any pedals. Left and right, so I'm gonna put the right one on if you want to come round here. It says on it, where did I see it? R for right, right side pedal, tighten that way. Whoops. Look at me, I can't even find a thread on a pedal, let alone build a bike. <laughs> it's cold, your hands are cold, darling. <laughs> now the funny thing is here, I'm reading the instructions, yeah? It says, put the pedals on, both pedals should be tightened to 35 newton meters using a torque wrench. Hmm. I don't know what a newton meter is, I don't know <laughs> what a torque wrench is. You don't know what a torque wrench is? No. <laughs> Um, I'm, I know what I need. This is a pretty good little system they've got here. Look, yeah. it's even got a few sockets and like your little bike thing here. So this is what I'm going to use. Uh, which way am I going? Next step, it says install the optional, optional rear rack. As if it's optional, you want it on, don't you? Um, that has to go on, that's the best bit. So you've just got four screws here. Just undo them, tighten these on. Sorted. At last, there we are, fully built. Now that has taken me hours and hours and hours and hours, but that's my fault because I'm rubbish at everything. And I put the front, was it the front or the back? I put the front wheel on, the one, I can't even say it. The front wheel on, back to front. So, the wrong way around. So I tried setting off, it was making a bit of a noise. Um, you know, I realised, I sorted it all out myself. I've done it all myself. I didn't have any help from them at all. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so yeah I'm leaving it at that for today I'm gonna to be taking it out for a ride tomorrow uh, when the winds died down a bit I'm getting tired now honestly I've been at it too long um, how I'm gonna get that and that back into there I have no idea but I'll worry about that after a beer it is the next day feeling a bit more refreshed today the bike is built the bike is looking beautiful the weather has changed there's no more wind and I'm about to go on a five mile ride two and a half mile there two and a half mile back oh gosh I'm off to the shop Wow <laughs> so before I do I'm gonna run through a few specs I made some notes in bed last night was it all right you get a two-year warranty with it perfect this is in no particular order by the way um, it will go up to 15 and a half miles per hour which is the legal limit for an electric bike in the UK uh-huh it's got a 48 volt lithium battery you should really be coming in and Ooh, showing sorry, these yeah. bits 48 volt lithium battery um, seven speeds so you can uh, yep so it's got the seven seat speeds there if you come around here you can see the seven cogs cogs is that the right word I would have said so okay how many miles can you get out of this mazit don't know right purely electric so no pedaling whatsoever yep. 35 miles wow um, pedal assisted 60 miles Ooh. so I'm hoping I'm gonna get me five miles I haven't even checked the battery in fact you can check the battery oh, okay. Come down here. There's yeah. a li little button here if you press it I don't know if it's gonna show up it might be a good thing before you set off you can't see it in that light but all three lights are on green at the bottom are they on oh yeah they, they are on yeah. green it's yeah. very faint but yeah it should be fully charged ish um, anyone you can have up to 25 stones of people on this yeah so you know if you've got a bit of a lardy bum you should be all right <laughs> are you just trying to say scale. something <laughs> just get on the scales before you go on it don't be over 25 stone <laughs> uh, you can actually have someone sitting on the back you can yes but obviously a 25 stone payload yeah it's you don't really want two massive people do you that's nice isn't it it's beautiful yeah uh, nice I don't know if I'd touch. want to sit on it really. Mm, no. It looks a bit uncomfortable to sit on. You ain't got no foot pedals then, have you? For um, the back person. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've never ridden on the back of a bike in my life, I'll be honest. <laughs> don't know. Don't know how that works. Um, it takes six to seven hours to charge up. Six to seven? Six to seven Oh, hours. sorry, I thought you said 67. No. Now, this is suitable for anyone from five foot one to six foot five. Oh, okay. Right. So By the way, I think you have to be 14 years old to ride an electric bike in England, just to let you know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, but five foot one to six foot five, now that is for the step through, right? So that covers almost all adults, Nearly doesn't everyone. it? Nearly everyone. Yeah. I'm five two. I, yeah. haven't got, I haven't tried it. <laughs> it covers most people. Um, but the non-step through version, the black one, where it goes across there, yep. you have to be five foot three. Oh. So this is better for shorter people because you can get your leg over even if you're really yeah. old, like Bob Earnshaw. Yeah, and if you want to go and check his bike, because he did the step over one, yeah, go and check that one no, out. He didn't do the step. One. No, he did the step over one, didn't he? He did the normal one. Yeah. The cruiser. The black yeah. One. <laughs> It has got a half twist throttle now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it's that look. Oh, okay. So you can do it with that to get your speed up, or you can. Can you use that? Or is it that? Or, no, or is it just that? To be fair, you've not really, really not been on it, it yet. Yeah, this is going to be your first time going to the shop. <laughs> um, half twist throttle, okay. Um, I've told you about the rear rack so you can take your friends extras now this is what I loved about this when I first yeah. when I first heard about this bike I looked it all up you can buy a lot of extras for this a pannier bag pannier bag so it goes over the back here and you can put loads of stuff in it have you got a picture or? I haven't got a picture no right okay you can get we them can, on their we website. can imagine it yeah um, but you know if you're homeless you can put a tent you can have a pan pannier bag <laughs> 
have a tent in there, food, underwear. Or just go into the shop or go into work. Yeah, or, or shop. Yeah. Or you don't need your paneer bag to go to the shop because you can get a, a little basket for the front. Oh, cool. Which is what these two bits are for here. Oh, I see. I am guessing. Yeah. So that's another extra. And they also do rear view mirrors. Oh, like wing mirrors. They're massive. It makes it look yeah. like a proper scooter. Like a motorbike type thing. Brilliant. So what's these then? These look like they might be for an extra as well. Um, I don't know. For an add, maybe a water bottle or something? Quite possibly. Yeah. Yeah, put a water bottle. I don't know. They're just little holes on it. I don't know. I'd say it's for an added extra. This is nothing to do with it, by the way. That is just I've put that on to hold my phone as I'm travelling. Oh, that's cool. And it's come off. So maybe I won't use that. Well, <laughs> it's because you pulled it off, isn't it? I don't it? want to, uh, no, it's a bad idea. Anyway, uh oh. tyres, tyres are 26 inches big, which is bigger than the ones on our motorhome, believe yep. it or not. Sure is. And four inches wide. <laughs> is that four inch? I don't know, but it's massive. It looks bigger than four inch, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So Kenda fat tyres. Um, Which are puncture resistant or something, aren't puncture they? Puncture resistant. You could ride this on any terrain. That's the beauty of fat tyres. Um, when you do get one of these, which you're going to get one of these, you're going to go in the description, there is a link down there, and you're going to get £50 pounds off. Well, it says €50, Euros, but I think it'll be £50 pounds off. Oh, OK, yeah. Um, so Every use, little helps. Use the code TRAVEL12TV at uh, checkout, and you'll get £50. Euros or fifty pounds off. They are seventeen hundred pounds to start with, but you're paying for what it is. Yeah. You know. Everyone knows that these are quality, expensive they're, they're bikes, cheap. aren't they? Yeah. You get what you pay for. They're luxury items in life, aren't they? Certainly are. <laughs> right. What else have I got? Uh, Shimano. Is that the word? Shimano Seven Speed Gear Shift System means nothing to me, but it's something to do with that. Might have something to do with that. I don't no, know. I think it's to do with that. Uh, five uh, pedal assist speeds. Um, so when you turn this on, which is that button there, just keep it held for a couple of seconds. It's on number one at the moment. So you've got plus and minus here. So plus two, three, four. So if you want to go top speed, you need it on number five. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to keep it on not. And it tells you how far <laughs> you've gone as well, down the bottom there. Yeah, how many kilometres... No, that's the kilometers. speed you're going. No, down that's here. That's how far you've gone. Yeah. Okay. As I say, I haven't been on it yet, so... Not as such, no. <laughs> uh, the front fork has coil suspension and hydraulic lockout. Yeah, these are cool. Yeah. If you look here, it says ABS+. Plus, so you can tinker with this and lock it depending on how much suspension you want. And last but not least, 48 volt luminosity. I've never heard that word before in my life. Luminosity. Light? Oh, wow. Spotlight, which is 20% brighter than LED. Cool, can we have a look at that? Not in this light. Oh. It won't show up. <laughs> Do you have a horn? Do I have a horn? Yeah. There's my light. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's not on. No, I don't know. I'm I'm not playing with it. Horn. I don't think I do, Mazzy. I'll be honest with you. I'm not feeling very horny. No, no horn. Got a bell. Bell, yay! Okay. And that is all I've got to say about it. So, all I've got to do now is ride it. Five miles, two and a half miles there, two and a half miles back. Um, it says it's like 12 minutes per there and 12 minutes back and going into the shop it means i've got at least half an hour away from mazzy hey cheeky let's do this <laughs>
Right, here goes. I'm looking a bit nerdy. I look like I work for Deliveroo or Just Eat. If anyone's ordered a pizza in the vicinity, I'm probably the one who's going to be delivering it for you. Right, let's get to the shop. On the beautiful Himiway Step Through Cruiser. Okay. So I've actually done 2.8 kilometers. And I think I forgot to press record on the camera. What an idiot. Anyway, we're recording now. So we've done uh, 2.9 kilometers. It's two and a half miles, which will be what? Four kilometers. I'm in speed five. 26.1 kilometers an hour, I think is the fastest it goes. Something like that which is just over 15 miles an hour. This is such a smooth ride, man. I was thinking with it being such an heavy bike um, and fat tires, I really thought it was gonna be, feel like I'm not in control of it all the time. But you actually feel more in control with the fat tyres than without. You feel like you're in a car. <laughs> you feel very safe. What I am noticing, if you stop pedalling, you know, when your legs get tired, like mine do, obviously, and then you start pedalling again, it flies, it just shoots off. Which I'm having to do now, because there's a car coming, I think, behind me. It's quite a narrow country lane, this, so I'll keep in as much as I can. So, 3.7 kilometres we've done in total since the bike was made. We've done 3.6 kilometers on this trip. Be interesting to know. Um, it says it's 12 minutes on Google Maps on a bicycle. Be very interested to know if it's actually faster or slower or the same speed with an electric bike. Because you can actually go a lot faster than 15 mile an hour. You're not meant to, I don't think. I don't know the rules. Uh, but you can go faster than 15 mile an hour on a push bike if you're going downhill, for example. But this will literally not let you go any faster. Okay, so we've done four kilometers, so the shop should be just around the corner somewhere. Okay, so the shop should be just around the corner here. So I'm going to take it down, down speed or two. No, I'm going the wrong way here, aren't I? I'm guessing this is a dead end. Yeah, gonna have to turn around. Terrific. I do need to adjust the brakes at some point when I get back. They just need to lift it up a bit at the front. But what a beautiful, smooth, lovely ride. Like you can change the suspension, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. I'm quite happy with it how it is. Okay, I've been to the shop, first panic, <laughs> as you do, I hid the bike, 
I didn't hide it, I just left it next to the bin, but around the corner from the shop door, I thought, I'm all right for a couple of minutes. This is a nice, quiet village. But I came out of the door and I couldn't see the bike. I couldn't see the bike. So I panicked. I did bring the lock with me. I should have used it, really. You know, when you've got an expensive piece of kit, you should look after it. But we got away with it. Right. Should be 12 minutes to get back. So I'm going to time it this time. It's a hell of a bike. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, I think we're safe to take off close to a minute there because we were held up in traffic before I set off. But yeah, I want to say if this is 12 minutes, I want to know if it's faster than Google Maps says or slower. I've no idea how the uh, microphone's holding up. I've just realised I haven't got the wind muff on it, so it's probably not picking me up very well. And we are back. Oh. oh, I can tell I haven't been riding a bike for a long time. Right, let me just check the... Um... Hello, Mazzy. Hello. You're safe. You're home safe. Oh. Thank God. I just want to check the time it took me. That's quick. 12 minutes 30. I did say I got hold up. About 30 seconds to a minute with traffic. So, yeah. Uh, Google Maps is right, it's about 11 and a half, 12 minutes. Oh, I'm glad to be back. I'll tell you what, this thing is a beauty. <laughs> Whoops. So that is the Himiway Step Through Cruiser. Honestly, been on quite a lot of electric bikes in the last two years. Definitely the best. Definitely the best. Um, more expensive, but you get what you pay for. Quality. Quality. I've never been on a bike like it. It really is. It's not like a bike. It's not like a pedal bike. It's not like a motorbike. It really is in between. But you don't <laughs> need a, a driving license for this. It is incredible. Um, this is the first review of, I'm sure, many. We're going to be using this all the time. What a fantastic, fantastic product. Um, link in the description. £50 off. Fill your boots. If you don't get one, it's your loss, isn't it? I've On got your one. bike. <laughs> On your bike. <laughs> I've got one. I'm happy. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all on the next. Love you. Tibbits. Bye-bye.